Thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum. I've had a few people ask me about what in the world is going on with the crack in Kenya. Well, recently, Seismo Steve put out this article. This widely reported crack in the Rift Valley was not formed by tectonic movement, but erosion of soil from recent heavy rains. The global media outlets have been a buzz about a large crack that appeared in the Kenyan Rift Valley. Many of these news pieces have tried to get to the bottom of what caused this feature, with many reports that the African continent was actively splitting in two. However, many articles cited limited expert comment, much of which was taken out of context and was based on minimal hard evidence. Other articles fed directly off previous reports propagating unsubstantiated rumors and losing sight of the original sources. Given the initial appearance of the crack, the reports of earthquakes apparently occurring at the same time and its location along a newly forming tectonic plate boundary, it is perhaps natural to quickly think that this is related to the breakup or rifting of Africa. Since the sudden appearance of the crack may understandably affect the lives of those locals living and working in the vicinity, it is important that we look at all available evidence to find out what's causing it and to prevent undue panic. First looking at the numerous images and videos of the feature, it is clear that it does not have a tectonic origin. The two sides of the crack do not have the same outline, and much like trying to fit two pieces of a puzzle together, they do not join. Also, the crack is not fully continuous, with soil bridges in between. There are no clear escarpments, and land is flat on either side of the crack. These lines of evidence show that the crack was formed by sudden erosion, not by pulling apart along active geological faults. Given all the evidence available at present, the best and simplest explanation is that the crack was in fact formed by erosion of soil beneath the surface due to recent heavy rains in Kenya. A further look at satellite optical imagery indicates that similar erosional features can be seen elsewhere in the region, suggesting that flash flood events have caused erosion before. This agrees with what local geologists have said, and previous studies have concluded rainwater has washed away deep layers of loose volcanic ash deposited by previous volcanic eruptions in the Rift Valley. Similar erosion features have been observed before in tectonically stable regions such as Arizona. Given this conclusion, it is fittingly less dramatic to refer to this feature as a gully. The location of the loose ash layers in the underlying long-lived structure of the East Africa Rift may have played at best a very tenuous and indirect role in the formation of the gully. Yet, for more genuine and arguably more spectacular evidence of Africa slowly splitting apart at a rate of less than one centimeter a year, we can look to the giant escarpments and numerous volcanoes all along the East Africa Rift, from recent eruptions at Mount Nairagongo in the Democratic Republic of Congo to the bubbling lava lake of Erda El in Ethiopia, which has a 16-kilometer-long lava flow. There is much ongoing scientific research in the East Africa Rift, with projects such as UK-based Rift Volk Initiative likely to produce some exciting results in the near future. As always, thank you for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Please like and share.